Hey guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. I've got an amazing recipe for you today. This one is something special. It is crustless quinoa quiche. Super delicious, super simple. So over here, I've got my two cups of, qui of quinoa. I was gonna say quiche. My two cups of quinoa soaking in some water. We're gonna let this sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to start the filling over here. Through the magic of YouTube video, I have wow. chopped up two yellow onions and two uh, peppers. One red, one orange. This device makes it so simple. You just... Ooh, um, look at those colors. I know, right? And you know what that means. The more colorful, colorful the food, <laughs> the healthier it is. The healthier. That's right. So I have my wok over here. I'm going to put it on medium high heat. And you don't have to use oil. I like the way the olive oil tastes just a little bit in the um, stir fry. So I'm just going to use probably about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna saute the onion and the peppers. And I'm also gonna add in some mushrooms, probably about half of the package. So that is eight ounces of mushrooms. A few cloves of garlic. I'm cheating. It's already chopped up. And not salt and pepper. I'm doing something special. Magic seasoning salt. A little bit of this goes a long way on top of the whole stir fry mixture. So the oil should be hot enough right now. Let's get started. Yeah, a little bit of sizzle Ooh. going on. So you're just going to saute these until they're a little bit tender. You don't want to overcook them because they're going to cook in the oven as well. <sighs> Woo! That's your garlic. Yes. Not too, too much. <laughs> you don't want to be like, Hi. Oh, I do though. No. These are cheating too. They're already ready and just dump Nothing them wrong with that. There. It's a little, mama's little shortcut. You get your butt back here in five minutes. All right, the veggies are all done. And while this is cooling off, we'll prepare the quinoa mixture. So I drained the quinoa of its dirty water. Ew. <laughs> and I have two and a half cups of fresh clean water. clean water, which I'm going to pour in here. If you want to half this recipe, uh, one cup of quinoa, one and a quarter cup of clean water after you drain it. Also, I wanted to say it's very customizable. You can use any veggies you want. I just use these today because it's what I happen to have on hand. Any vegetable that you use, pre-cook it a little bit beforehand because it gives off some of the water. And if you don't pre-cook it before, the quiche is going to be very soggy and you don't want that. All right, so I'm going to blend this up. I'm going to blend it medium speed for about a minute. Okay. All right, it's nice and smooth and beautiful. It's like pancake batter. And we're gonna pour that in with the vegetables. This is going to be the glue that holds everything together because when this cooks, it's going to all bind everything together. It's like lava and it's going to cool off and be a solid. <laughs> okay, so to this mixture, let me get rid of this because it's just going to get in the way. We're going to add a couple of optional ingredients. Now you could uh, make this just as is and it would be delicious. Oh, actually, you probably want to put a little salt in. <laughs> So Probably about half a teaspoon of uh, Himalayan because that's the only salt that I use because if you're going to have salt, you might as well get the one that is good for you with the minerals in it. I'm going to put in a little bit of nutmeg as well to give it a nice flavor. So these are the two optional ingredients. We've got some nutritional yeast, aka nooch, which is going to give it a nice cheesy flavor. I'm using a half a cup. It's a great source of vitamin B12. and. I'm going to um, put in probably half this package, so about four ounces of cheddar daya. If you don't like daya, there's lots of other vegan cheeses out there. If you wanted to make this totally savory for like a brunch or something, you could cut up some vegan sausage and put it in there. Also, um, 
Yeah, right? That looks amazing. <laughs> it looks like a giant egg and this is the yolk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that. You might want to save a little bit of this for the top as well. So as soon as we get this mixed up, we're going to spoon it into our um, cups. I have these awesome parchment paper uh, cake cups so that I don't have to worry about cleaning. Woo! Something just flew over there. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about cleaning out the pan. You don't want this Yay, to stick. Yay, lazy! <laughs> I know, I'm totally lazy tonight. And if you don't have the parchment paper cups or um, muffin cups, make sure you use a cooking spray or some coconut oil on there so that it won't stick. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Nightmare getting it out. It, it's a little gloopy. It's a little Augustus gloopy. So I'll just use this. Make sure you get like a lot of the good stuff in there. Don't just scoop from the top, you know, just the plain stuff. Yeah, it's a little That's messy. A little messy. It's a little messy. You could fill it right up to the top because it's really not gonna puff up that much. A little nutritional yeast on there, mm. a little bonus. <laughs> So when we get these all filled up, we're going to put them in the oven at 375 for between 30 and 40 minutes. All right, last one. Maybe this one needs a little bit more. <laughs> all right, again, totally optional. If you wanted to put a little bit more of the day on top, I'm not going to put it on all of them, maybe just a couple. Just so you get the idea of what it's going to look like. Just like that is plenty. Just for some extra flavor. Just those. Just those lucky ones. Or maybe they're unlucky. They're lucky. They're very okay. lucky. <laughs> What's wrong with you? And away we go. Bye. Oh my gosh. What? These are beautiful. These actually took 25 minutes at 375. Depending on the size of your muffin cup, depends, you know. The size of your muffin top. <laughs> that will help you adjust the timing, but yeah. why don't you peel the jacket off of that, slip it into something more comfortable. Ooh, I will. Look at I how will. nicely that um, comes right out of Gorgeous. The, the parchment paper cupcakes. Cupcake jacket. I see I got one of the special ones with the yes. day of cheese on top. Oh, I'm baby. so excited. It looks like a quiche inside, too. Right? <laughs> Nick, <what's your> <laughs> You're so good. All right, guys, I wanted to tell you if you didn't want to use the Daya, we have a recipe for yellow sauce on our channel. If you didn't put the cheese on the inside and you serve this, you could put just drizzle the uh, yellow sauce. Yeah over the top of it or nothing at all if you just want you know i mean some of us are we love the cheese yeah or we used to love the cheese <laughs> well we love vegan cheese yeah oh it's so yummy hope you guys try it out i hope you love it as much as we do and until next time much love